welcome to Hands on Science, where if you ever just need something to do, this is the place to be. This is Car. And this is Mel. Mel, are you ready for something to do today? I am ready. Awesome. Yep. So, and, yep. I went ahead and asked for permission. I Car. was just going to ask if we yep. asked for permission. Yes, we Definitely did. want permission for this one because we're going to need kind of a lot of supplies. But that's okay. So over there on your side, Mel, you've got a container of water. Okay. So if you want to bring that over. Oh, it's kind of heavy. And I'm going to give you this. Oh. That good. is my super secret dirty water maker. Super secret so dirty So go ahead water and pour maker. that into the water. Okay. No, pour this into the water. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to make a lot of dirty water. Oh, I one. see. Okay. Just dump it in? All of it. Yep. Okay. So we're going to mix this up real good. Ew. Mel, really can I offer you a drink? Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> okay, we are going to make a homemade water filter. This is the second version okay. that we've done at Hands on Science. Okay. And we're going to see if we can't clean that up a little bit. Okay, okay. So I'm going to push it off to the side just a little. All right. And I've got a two liter container okay. that we've cut. Um, we've measured seven inches up from the top, cut the top off, drilled a quarter inch hole in the cap. Mm -hmm. Put the cap back on. Okay. Make sure that's on real good. And then we've put it upside down. Oh, okay. okay. We're using a clear one here so that you can see what's going on. If yours isn't clear or you want to use maybe a smaller version, then that's okay. totally fine. Yep. This is a soda bottle, but you can use a large water bottle or what have you. So I've got Some cotton coffee. balls. Okay. Yep. So I'm going to, what I give you? Four, six, seven. We're going to start with seven cotton balls. Okay. And go ahead and put those cotton balls down there in the bottom. Do I need to open it up or anything? Nope, you can just drop them right in there. Okay. Okay. The next thing we've got, this might look familiar for anybody that has a uh, fish tank. This is activated carbon. Now I've gone ahead and pre-rinsed this carbon. Okay, so I'm gonna give you that melt. I'm gonna push down the cotton balls just a little bit and put enough activated carbon in there to cover the cotton balls. Some fell out. Yeah, that's okay. Some more? Uh, yeah. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and push it down. You kind of want to make a flat layer. Okay. And the next thing that we're gonna add uh, is some sand. This sand is a little moist because, again, I've gone ahead and pre-washed this. I used uh, some cheesecloth and okay. put the sand in the cheesecloth and then ran it under the tap. That's what that little fiber thing was. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna just double check this. Okay. Make sure it's nice so and you're flat. Just kind of flattening it yep, out. Just flattening okay. it out. So I'm gonna give you the sand. All right. And same thing, I would like you to put enough sand on there to cover the activated carbon. Because this sand is wet, okay. you're probably gonna have to pat it down a little as you go. Kind of like this. Yep. Huh? Okay. So the activated charcoal, the sand, they were both a little damp from being rinsed. Um, but that's okay if you've had a fish tank or you've ever installed your own water filter in your home that has been store-bought, it tells you to moisten the filter or to run the tap for uh, a minute oh, or so. Okay. And what that does is kind of prime it. Okay, okay, so some more? Yeah, we can go probably twice that thick. Twice that thick, okay. So I'm holding the bottom just because it's getting top-heavy. Okay. And we don't want it to tip over. More? Um, I think you're good. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna help and just pat down the edges, especially here in the front so everybody at home can see. Like that. Okay, now the last thing I'm gonna give you is some gravel. Okay. Same thing, like the activated charcoal in the sand, I've pre rinsed this. Oh, okay. and this, this will look a little clean. Yeah, these are some pretty clean stones for being gravel. Um, this, I pre rinsed it, I think yesterday okay. or so, so that's why the gravel is dry. The gravel was moist. Um, just like the sand and activated charcoal, that's totally fine. So go ahead and fill maybe half an inch from the top of the water filter. I think that's good. Okay. Okay. So you don't want to fill it all the way to the top because what's going to happen is the water is going to be gravity fed okay. through all of this. So you want to be able to fill it up oh, and then okay. let the water I slowly see. So we dry. leave a little bit on the top. We leave a okay. little bit of space. Okay. So I'm going to try and get my other hand here out of the way okay. and I'm going to hold the bottom. Now, all right. Mel, if you can take our spoon and give our dirty water one more good stir. Okay. And now once you're ready, I'm going to invite you to pour some of that dirty water into our water filter. And what you want to do is don't pour it just all in the middle. You kind of want to pour in a, in a larger surface area. Just like that. 
see if it works. It's pretty dirty. It was some pretty dirty water. I would definitely not be drinking okay, it's it. It's kind of filling, so shall I wait? Yep, wait, and you can see that it's draining, okay. and we've already got some water wow. coming down. You can actually see the difference. You can already. see a huge difference. Now, our dirty water maker was a little bit of dirt, okay. a little bit of shredded paper, a little bit of plant fibers. Um, so it was pretty dirty. Now what you can see down here, you can see that all of those big pieces were, were taken out, but there's still a little discoloration. Um, but even bigger. though the water is much, much cleaner, I highly recommend not drinking this water. Even though the big particles have been taken out, it's not sterile. Right. And so you don't want to drink it. But look, you can see the difference. But you can see a huge yeah. difference between the water coming out of our filter and, and dirty the water yes, that we mix we sure can. in the beginning. So it's super important that we drink clean water and because we're here in Hawaii it's so so important that we keep our ocean waters clean as well That's right. anyway guys we hope you liked this activity if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up we'd love to hear your comments and if you do have any ideas for an episode of hands-on science we'd love to hear it leave those ideas again in the comments for us and who knows maybe we'll do your idea right here on our next episode so we'll see you next time right here where we're always looking for something to do bye, bye. guys